All right, so just for a quick, how do you play, right? So you can see on the mini map on the side, there's a bunch of jiggies, those are obvious. All right, so those are the challenges. But you'll also see some steering wheels, if you look closely, All right? So I can grab this first vehicle. Um, the icons are overriding themselves from certain directions. Basically on any vehicle, you can do two things. You can ride it, or you can change it, All right? So if I'm, if I'm outside the vehicle, I can hit B, and bam. I could take pieces off, stick them on in other places. There's uh, in, in the proper game, there'll be times when you find parts and you can just come into this mode and stick them onto your vehicle. So it's like, you know, ooh, look, a better engine. I'll stick that on. Um, anyway, let me uh, jump out of there. I want to get in. So look around the world. You find people like so. They'll try and if they think you're going to run them over, they're going to get mad and run away. But then they'll just warp back to the place where they're supposed to be. So if I walk up and I talk, this is the other thing that's missing from this build. X is talk. Just note that that's missing from the screen here. <laughs> so you might go, hey, why well, he doesn't like me. No, you just hit X, and then you'll talk to him, and he'll tell you what to do. Before I get onto one of those, though, I want to have a look around. If you've if you've played any of the banjo games, this is the level that plays homage to your your fandom. It's it's Banjo Land. It's literally a game world built out of parts of every level that's been in a banjo game. So you see, how about I drive around and take a look? Here's one right here. There's a little Glitter Gulch Mine was a level in banjo, and it's kind of trapped here under. If you go up and talk to the little nice museum stand guy right there, these are not completely done, but you highlight them. This, of course, tells you X. Oh, they've upped the font. So then it tells you, so this is number five of 18 of these in the world. And it gives you a little bit of a background on this. This is the second level from Banjo Tooie. Sorry. So this particular vehicle, also you can see up in the right, we always show you what your vehicle does. So this one is obvious. A is that. B is a little less obvious. B is a gyro. So you find the gyro in the game. That allows you to hold the gyro button and you get some control over your vehicle. this. Oh, they do like to joke about ghoulies, don't they? So that would be a, yeah, bin full of ghoulies. <laughs> you also have these little, like, cool, again, thinking of the whole thing as a museum motif. There's some Jinjos. All the different various colors from the other games. Cruise around for a little bit more. Let's see what else I see. Whee! This is, of course, Freeze Easy Peak. Go out into the water, you can see there's the pirate ship sunk from the second level of uh, Banjo-Kazooie. And again, as I said, you have... You definitely need a submarine vehicle or, again, this is being the E3 build, you don't drown, you just... Kazooie slaps you a couple times and you wake up. But the underwater world is far too big to swim through without drowning. So you need to, you need to have a vehicle that has the little uh, airtight um, one of the things that you find is an airtight seat. There's different ty types of seats. And once you have the airtight seat, you can stay underwater as long as you'd like. And the pieces are additive. So it's another thing that's kind of, uh, it's good fantasy. I mean, it, it's, I guess it's true in the real world. You get a boat, you have one engine, it's fast. You put two engines in a boat, it's faster. Right? Same sort of thing here. If you get an engine, you find a big engine, you don't necessarily have to take off the little engine. Just stick the big engine on there and hey, I'm going faster. But now I'm sucking up way more fuel. So I'll stick two or three um, gas tanks on. But jumping is a good analogy of that. You stick one spring on, and you're going to jump so high. Stick on, you, but you can find multiple springs, and those will give you additive abilities. And again, there's there's types of pieces like weight and strength. But the, so there's over a hundred literal piece types. But when you stick in, hey, there's light ones and strong ones and etc. There's over a thousand pieces in the game.